Okay, Renee. How you doing? Good. Good. You know what we're doing, don't you? Yep. You know where we're going? Yep. Yep. We're, we're going, going out of camping, camping in the rough. Camping in the rough. Let's get our stuff. Okay, so what do we need? A backpack. Oh, junk food snack. Candy bars and Cracker Jack. We're going out of camping in the rough. Camping in the rough. First name, George. George. Yes, I know. Mr. Banter, do you know why you're here? No, that's what I've been trying to figure out since you pulled me away from the campgrounds two hours ago. So you have no idea why you're here? No clue, huh? <laughs> we just went over this. Hey, don't smart mouth me. You want to play dumb? That's fine by me. Dude, look, I'm not trying to play dumb. I was just standing here. First of all, my name's not Dude. Secondly, you just calm down there. You want to make it worse? That's fine by me. No, I don't. Uh, I'm just trying to... You see that badge? What's that name tag say? Leslie. Ranger Leslie. Okay, I'm sorry. Ranger Leslie... Butthole? Butole! Butole! It's French and Spanish, okay? Hey, whatever, man. Just chill out. You chill out it. Right. I'm gonna give you a little lesson in the California Parks and Recreation System, George. You mind if I call you George? <laughs> oh man, it's your world. You're damn right it is. And as a park ranger in my world, it is my duty to enforce the park's rules and regulations. Some of us are peace officers, authorized to carry firearms. And it is our duty to enforce the laws within our jurisdiction by any means necessary. And I happen to be one of those rangers who doesn't carry a firearm. Thank God. I'm up for certification again next year, so. In any event, you are in violation of park policy, which reads, Disturbance or destruction of any natural scenery, plant, or animal life is strictly forbidden. What are you talking about? We didn't disturb or destroy anything. Really? Hmm. Did you or did you not drive an SUV through a gated area onto park grounds at 9 a.m. this morning? Yeah. Aha! Oh, what? No, I really don't think I have to stay here. Yep! Yeah. Driving an unauthorized vehicle through the gated area onto the park grounds is a park's violation. You just burst through the gate, destroying any natural vegetation that was in your way. Leave only footprints, you take only memories, George. Okay. First of all, I didn't burst through anything. I got the key for the gate from the guard at the entrance. And it was my mom's SUV. She's 70 years old and she needs help packing up her gear. Plus, there was no plant life to destroy. I mean, it was a dirt road. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the night before last? Huh? Freaking budget. Huh? You were in direct violation of the, the noise reduction code. It reads as follows. Loud, disturbing noise is prohibited at all times, especially between the hours of 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. At 0300, there was loud laughing, smoking, drinking, and carrying on. Okay. Range your butt, butt. Butte, but. Uh, Ranger Butte. Can I just call you Leslie? No. Ranger officer, sir, our campsite is half a mile from any other campers. <laughs> Who could we have possibly disturbed besides some coyotes and, and yourself? And wait a minute, what, what were you doing by our campsite? I'll ask the questions in my world, Mr. Smarty Pants. Okay, it was just a simple question. I know you're tight banter. 
Everything's always come easy for you, hasn't it? Huh? Squirt high in your SAT? I actually took it twice. Mr. Handsome, popular, football captain man. I played tennis. Everyone loves George Banter. I wouldn't say love, but like, maybe. Always ready with your flawless, friendly smile. Veneers. Never too big to admit when you're wrong, huh? Just a friendly guy, right? Mr. Uh, Nicey McNice Nice. I'd like to think so. Could have had any girl in high school, but why Shavaria? Who? You know who, the only girl I ever loved. You knew it. You knew it. But hey, you know, thanks for not joining the pep squad or the mathletes. Thanks for leaving me some area in my life where I can excel and just drown my sorrows. You're a real prince of a guy, Banter. You're my hero, you miserable son of a bitch. Okay. Um, clearly this isn't about me. Whatever anger and bitterness you're holding towards this guy that did this number on you in high school is going to be directed out to me because you're in a position of power for the first time in your life and you're going to milk it for all it's worth. Right? Yep. Okay. Uh, do you like dogs? No. Okay. Well, I have a dog named Pug. Oh, uh, so you got a pug. No, it's a great day. Why'd you name him Pug? I thought it would be funny. Why well, is it funny? <laughs> well, my buddy is watching Pug for me. He expects me back this afternoon. Do you think I'll be out of here by about three? Nope. <sighs> okay, well, mind if I give him a call? Sure. Dial away. <laughs> So what are we looking at, like 9 or 10? Yeah, sure, give it a take. Great. Hey, it's a good thing you didn't recognize me as Cosmo's Bachelor of the Year, you know? <laughs> oh boy. I take it you have sleeping quarters in these facilities? Fantastic. All right. Cuts aren't too bad. Stop being so nice. Say, we could be buds, you and I. Camping in the rough. Let's get our stuff. Oh, I know. How about my pet cat? Can't take that. Pack's too small? Cat's too fat. Uh, bug spray? That's okay. When bugs smell you, they fly away. Hey. Flashlight? Oh, yeah, right. Wake me up in the middle of the night. Backpack. Junk food snack. Candy bars and Cracker Jack. We're going out camping in the rough. Camping in the rough. Let's get our stuff. Work it. Scene seven, da. Take two. Take a look at this. Oh, what's that name tag say? <laughs> Leslie, Leslie. Ranger Leslie, Leslie. In my world, it is my duty to enforce the park's policies and regulations. Oh, regulations. In my world, it is my duty to enforce the rules and regulations. Some of us fly helicopters. Are they big? Huge, and they come out of Bob Hope Airport. Bob Hope Airport? Is that close by here? It's very close, but that's a size of the pit. <laughs> Driving an unauthorized vehicle through the gated area onto the campgrounds is a Violation of park's rules, you fucker. I have to be one of those rangers. Now I'm gonna do that again because I messed it up, so I'm gonna put it back, you miserable son of a bitch. I'm sorry. Well, did you or did you not? Well, let's talk about what about last night? The night before, huh? You were in direct violation of the noise violation code. The noise disturbance code. There's codes in this is the whole book. Okay. Now, wait a minute. What were you doing by our campsite at 3 a.m.? I'll ask a question here. It's my world, smarty pants. Okay, that's just a simple question. Can we do that again? Sure. What about the night before last? 
You were in direct violation of the noise disturbance code. What's that term? I don't know. Hmm? The noise disturbance code. What about the night before? Huh? You were in direct violation of the noise disturbance code. I straight for apologies. Give me that, goddammit. I have it right. Fuck it, A. What about that? Give me that. Be a team player. Thanks so much. Thanks. Driving an unauthorized vehicle onto the... Look, I really don't think I have to stay here. You blow on up! What's a fucking word? Red cut. No, 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 no. It is driving. Okay. I'm not sorry. We're rolling. We're rolling. Are we rolling? Yeah.